You've interviewed six for this position as sales manager in your company. Lisa is the seventh. You say best for last. Let's check the resume. Sales exec with Xerox Corporation. Yeah, she worked her way from sales representative to sales manager with lots of other sales and marketing assignments along the way. Born and raised in Atlanta, she received her diploma from East Atlanta High and then went to Tennessee State on a track scholarship. Lisa graduated from Tennessee State magna cum laude with a Bachelor's of Arts degree in English. Elected and appointed to leadership roles in several organizations including her alumni association. This is a terrific resume. Your assistant summons you from your office for the interview and Lisa is sitting across the table. What happens now? How do you feel? I mean, skip the politically correct answer. How do you feel? It's the 10th anniversary of 9-11. Radical Muslims attacked the United States on that day in 2001. This applicant, who wants to work for you, interface with your customers, is clearly and proudly one of them. The question recently has been, how have the events of 9-11 affected our lives in the past 10 years? Numerous TV and radio talk shows have explored this subject ad nauseum. You're aware of where you were that morning. It's indelibly stamped into your mind. You're also aware that 3,000 non-combatants lost their lives in the World Trade Center, a Pennsylvania wheat field, and the Pentagon. You're aware that Muslims did this on purpose. What you may not be aware of is that since then, 66,000 Iraqi civilians have also lost their lives and another nine or 10,000 Afghanis. And your civil rights were trimmed by the Patriot Act. You can now be listened to without cause and your larger bank transactions monitored. You are constrained, searched, x-rayed, and patted down every time you board an airplane. Metal detectors greet you at our national monuments. And the U.S. is spending itself broke, getting even for the events of that day. If the events of September 11th, 2001 had never occurred, would your feelings in this interview be different? Before you interview her, how about getting rid of all that history, all those pictures, all that fear? She is the most qualified applicant for the job. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. And let the healing continue. I'm Kim DeMott, corporate co-driver, and this is another moment of clarity.